Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my evil deck. Now this deck is mostly based around special summoning the evil sword monsters using the evil tile monsters. It's sort of like gladiator beasts in that there's a lot of special summoning from the deck, but because it's based on kind of like two different archetypes within an archetype, it's kind of played a bit differently and leads you into doing a lot of uh, different plays that can be supported by a lot of different cards. So first off, we're gonna have evil sword Soretto. So 1900, 1400, really nice stats. And if it's special summoned by the evil tiles, it, gains, it becomes 2100. And then it can start um, refilling your hand by destroying monsters. So very, very powerful card. Definitely like running three of this card. Then Diplo, decent stats, but used to blow up your opponent's spells and traps. Very, very effective. You know, you could bring this guy out, um, destroy their stuff, and then XYZ and do a lot of nice stuff really quickly. And then Volcano. So Volcano is uh, very similar to Darius from the Gladiator Beast. Just allows you to special summon your evil sores from the graveyard, and then you can do quick XYZs, can lead you to do some really nice plays. And then uh, Evil Tile Westlow, just a flip monster that allows you to special summon the evil sores very, very quickly. Just a very, very nice card overall. And then Najasho. So Najasho, 2000 defense, and when he's tributed, you can special summon evil sore monsters. So what you do is you have cards in the deck that allow you to tribute him. Um, and that leads you to do a lot of really uh, interesting stuff. And then one, uh, Adanto, just can be useful uh, situationally to special summon and bring out things really quickly. For the spell cards, uh, it's pretty much stable to run three Evo Diversity and three Evo Force. Um, obviously, a card that searches your entire deck is pretty much stable. And Evo Force is just really nice, allowing you to special summon and tribute to Josh so easily, leading you to do some very, very powerful plays, you know. You're tributing Najasho, and then his effect allows him to special summon, and then your evil force allows you to special summon, and then let's say you special summon a uh, Volcano, you can special summon again, so um, it could lead to some very, very nice plays, and that's why usually you run uh, three of this card. Then Pot of Duality, we do have some special summoning, but we do need some draw power in this deck. Enemy Controller, really nice in this deck, uh, giving us an alternative to tribute monsters, and it, you know, its other effect is situationally useful. And then MST, um, back row can be a problem for this deck because you're bringing out these powerful monsters quickly that you don't want to get destroyed. Same reason why we're running Forbidden Lance. And then we also have Dark Hole. For the traps, again, back row can be somewhat of an issue, so we're running two traps done. Also running two Dimensional Prison to deal with stuff and two Fiendish Chain. Otherwise, just the stable traps you'd expect to see. For the extra deck, mostly going to be four stars, but we do have one Gachi Gachi and Zen Mains, just because we do have, you know, a few two stars and three stars. You could run more two and three star XYZ if you want, but we really need to keep uh, room in the extra deck for a lot of four stars, especially these two, uh, Laggy and Dolka. These two are just really, really good in my opinion. Um, very, very nice effects for four stars, allowing you to, you know, uh, deal with opponent's effects or basically having your own solemn judgment. So very, very powerful. I've seen some people run three Lagia. Um, I can understand that. I'm just going for more variety, but he's a really good card. So Maystroke, uh, Gaga Cowboy, Silent Honor, x Knight, King of the Feral Imps. Um, the uh, evil tiles are reptiles, so you can search them out with that card. And then Diamond Dire Wolf. Digusto can be nice for recycling your deck because if you use up um, those cards that you want to search out, you really don't have many options anymore. And Ouroboros and Violent Designia because we can get out, you know, three, four stars without that much trouble. So um, those are two cards that I really like using when you can do that. So now for the side deck. Again, side decks in my videos are kind of just recommended cards that can also work with the main deck. It isn't meant to be a side deck for matches. It's not you know supposed to be tech that you use against certain decks. These are just cards I want you to think about when you're building your own evil deck that could be really useful. So Blaster is definitely a choice in this deck, an all-fire deck. Um, you know, can be nice for destroying cards, up to you. Um, there's other evil cards. You could try to run like a five-star base build and then bring out five-star monsters and do some other plays, and I'll talk about that in the XYZs. Um, you can also run a six-star build with Terius and uh, Elias, where you can do even more insane plays with your six stars, which I'll also talk about. If you're doing the five-star plays, you can run Makumak, Volcasaurus. You can run that with mini guts and do a ton of damage, lead to some really huge plays. Um, if you run five stars, you can run Frieza Don, and then you can also use his effects so your evil sores um, can use their effects more often, which could be extremely powerful. If you're going for the six star build, um, Evil Star Solda can be a very powerful card to use, and then there's a bunch of other, you know, five and six star XYZs I didn't talk about if you run those builds, but those are pretty much well known. 
Uh, Mind Control can be a good card for this deck, um, allowing you to make those plays quickly. Mini Guts um, can be very powerful combined with this deck. It's just kind of situational where you'll be able to take full advantage of it, but it can lead to some very powerful plays, especially with that five star, you know, Mini Guts and Maku Mech, two cards that can lead to OTKs very quickly. And there's other evil tech, Primordial Soup is one of them that can, it's kind of like a magical mallet, can kind of recycle what you're doing, but I don't like to run it. Safe Zone can another way to protect your uh, monsters, which can be nice. Offering to the Snake Deity um, can be useful for the evil tiles, but the problem is that um, it's only for you know a small portion of your deck, so I'm not sure if I'd want to uh, run that or not. Um, there's other evil support as well. Evil Instant uh, is another one, but because it's a trap, I'm not sure if I really want to uh, run it, but it's up to you guys. Um, there's also another card coming called Evil Singularity, which will, you know, radically affect this archetype. Um, it's not out yet, but when it is out, it's probably going to be run in every single evil deck. So this card will just be extremely uh, powerful. So it's just going to be um, great. It's kind of like a Heroic Beast are going to be able to special summon um, from their extra deck using the graveyard. So it's just extremely powerful. So I can't wait to see that. Definitely going to redo the deck when that comes out. So that's my evil deck. Uh, very fun. Again, similar to Gladiator Gladiator Beasts. If you like Gladiator Beasts and how they work, you might like this type of deck. Still very different in some of the ways it does uh, what it needs to do, but definitely has the potential to lead to some very nice plays. And if you can bring out Laggy uh, late in the game, it'll just lock down your opponent and they won't be able to do much. So that can be uh, really, really nice. But if you guys have your own evil decks, you can post below. Let me know in the comments. You can talk about what cards you use and make suggestions for me. But uh, that's about it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.